gears up here. Like, completely, like, switch up the gears. How do you feel about being politically correct? Like, literally being politically correct. Like, like, like you having to, especially in this space. Filter, like, filters. And, and, and th this is what I mean. It's different when we're, like, with friends talking, just, you mm -hmm. know, like, like, I'm talking about this space of us recording the podcast, mm -hmm. recording video, yeah. that people will go back and be like, no, 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 no. You said this. And you gotta hold your there, tongue. And you gotta be like, mm. Yeah, I did say that. Yeah. I didn't really mean it. Or well, maybe you know, it comes out. Let me vent I hate having to re-edit stuff that you say. <laughs> uh, yo, it is mad <laughs> annoying. I know, like, listen. You know what? You know how this is gonna make me a better man? It's gonna definitely help me to watch what you say. Not what I say. No, I don't. You I, say I don't. I don't. And no, no, not how I say it either. It's just I don't want to curse as much. That's my thing. I don't yeah. want to be cursing the same. Because like, I one thing about me is that I don't want to. I don't want to filter what I'm saying. No, now. but what you're saying in the sense of your cuss words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that okay. that for, that in that aspect, yes, yeah. I, I agree with you. But uh, I mean, that's a that's a really good question. I I would say that <clears throat> part of of being politically correct for me is mad annoying. Right, because we we become very sensitive. Like that, anything and everything is offensive. Yeah, especially nowadays. But in part, you know, I'm a person that believes that our words have power. Mm -hmm. So we should always be careful with the words we use, because our words can easily build people up, but they can also easily destroy people. Mm -hmm. So I think you know, it, it's not about being politically correct. It's more about being conscious about the words I'm picking. Why am I using my words? Right, because. Uh, some of the greatest people we, we, we admire in, in, in the world, the world's history are, are people who are great speakers, mm -hmm. right? That their message resounded in our hearts or in our ears. So, you know, there is something that is clever and important about words, right? Not that, you know, I don't want to be the kind of person who judges somebody by the words they use, mm -hmm. but it, we often judge you know, people by the words they use. I was going to ask you, why, why do you think that is, though? Like, why do you think that when... We have a person that articulates themselves very well versus, like, let's say, like, the person that, that doesn't, right? That uses a lot of slang and uses a lot of cursors. Why do you think that that, like, it, it kind of, like, takes people's attention away from the message that they're trying to take out and it, and it like, unfocuses them almost? It, like, it shakes them mm -hmm. up. Why do you think that is? It's because I think everything should be conducive to the message, okay. right? Like for example, if you have a, a you know, if you have a, a project, right, an idea, a marketing scheme, everything you do about about that promotion it has to be focused. Like you know, marketing, music, so like everything has to be like, how can I make this product more elevated? Like, right. how can I bring it to the best of it? Even if the project is great, right, but you fail to market it properly. And you can see that sales be affected. Yeah. Well, I think the same way as with a message. <laughs> is, you know, you got to understand, like, who am I trying to reach? So if I'm trying to reach a certain group of people that cannot relate with my vernacular, with my slang, with my way of speaking, mm -hmm. then I, I, sh I you know, it's like, like, for example, if I want to address somebody who all they know is, is slang, I cannot address them with old Shakespearean English. Got you. Got so, you get me? So that, that's what you got me. So it's so really it's just about relating. Yeah. Right. I, I think it's like who are you trying to connect to? Who are you trying to impact? Right. Because I mean the reason I guess the reason I, I, I don't really look at it like that, but now that you say it, it clicks, that makes sense because I mean, I feel like you know, we live in a time where we're trying to say things like like so proper and so right and I feel like that's not how people you know, interact with mm -hmm. each other on a daily basis, but yeah. So like, it's like fake. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly what I say. Like, oh, so we got to be fake. Like, the way we say it, it's almost fake, but I guess not really. It's because maybe the environment that I'm in constantly is very different from the environment that the majority of the mm -hmm. people around the world yeah, are. Exactly. So I guess, like, <clears throat> for, like, any marketing campaign, like, you know, give an example, whatever your target market is, which you have to know your target mm -hmm. market, you have to try to relate to those. Tater so that's them. why... Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why you have to kind of be able to be versatile and change how you speak, how you conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. That actually sheds some light on me now, like honestly, because mm -hmm. I was I've been thinking about that. Like I've been thinking about it mainly because I've been getting smoke. You already yeah, know. Yeah, we don't make our yeah, yeah. about that. But I was thinking about it because okay, so like going back is like you start to think like okay, well, 
maybe I couldn't articulate it this well because I didn't get what I needed to say all the way out. But you don't really think like that when you're just interacting at mm -hmm. the time. Because yeah. you know, when you're interacting at the time, you're getting asked. It's, it's okay. Oh, well, what it's about... Okay. Exactly. But then I guess in this space is different because you need to... I mean, it's, it is and it's not. I think it's good because then it still makes interaction later. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, people are going to yeah, come yeah, and yeah, ask, oh, wait, but then you kind of, like, you know, yeah. it gives you an opportunity to interact. But at the same time, it almost, it makes me think like, okay, well, then I guess maybe you have to take a little bit of a of a different approach to try to get more out. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, well, in like a more a understandable, a yeah, in an understandable way. But still, like, even even to then, like, I mean, like, like, look at the time we're living in, right? Like, Donald Trump is not politically correct uh, by no means. And that's what made him popular. Right. Ironically. Yeah, like everybody's like, they love that. Like, yeah. They love, but I guess, like, people just love controversy. That, that for sure. I guess it's just, but I think that's just, like, like what it is. Like, just. But, you know, what you were just saying, uh, you know, triggered a question to me, so I'm going to ask it and you can answer. Is, is being politically correct being fake or improving? Mm. That's, you know, that's a challenging one. And I like that question because, so at this, okay, so as I see it, right, I guess I'm improving my vocabulary, right, and possibly the way I relate to somebody mm -hmm. or a group of people, and in a way that shows growth because then that means that I can be multidimensional, right, mm -hmm. I guess that's yeah. right, so that, that's one side of it. But then again, the other side is like, you're switching up how you would normally say it, you get me to appease other people. So it's almost like